What is one-to-one -one and why is it important for us? Let us start with the second question. One-to-one -one will tell us, together with on two, which we will we'll discuss in another video, whether we can invert a certain function. And if you see a function as a relation between sets, its domain and its codomain, it is not difficult at all to see whether a function is one-to-one -one or not. So what's the definition of one-to-one -one or more nicer word maybe, injective? A function f from d to c is one-to-one -one, and for every y in the codomain there exists at most one x in the domain which is mapped to, uh, to this particular y. So it's not possible to have different x's in the domain to be mapped to the same y in the codomain for all points in the codomain. So you always look uh, starting from the codomain and you see, you go to all points and you check whether there's any point where more x's are mapped to the same point. Let's do an example. We have our domain consisting of three points, a codomain consisting also of uh, three points, and we wonder whether this function f is uh, one to one or not. Well, we start, uh, we also look from the codomain back to the domain. So we start, say, with the 8 over here. Uh, the 8, well, there's no point mapped to the 8. So you can have at most one x mapped to the 8. There is no point mapped to the 8, so that's fine. Look at the 5. 1 is mapped to 5, but that's all. So there's at most one point mapped to 5, it's just the point 1. So that part's also fine for 1 to 1. But then we look at 7, and we see both 2 and 3, they are both mapped to 7. So that means that this function is not 1 to 1, because different x values are mapped to the same y value. But this function f is not 1 to 1. Let's look at the next function, where we just uh, erased one value, the value 2, from our domain. And we again look whether our function is 1 to 1 or not. Well, let's start on top now. Value 5. Only one value is mapped to 5, 1, so that part is fine for 1 to 1. 7. Now only one value is mapped to 7, 3 is mapped to 7, so at most 1, so that's fine. And finally 8 over here. Well, no value is mapped to 8. You can have at most one value mapping to 8, so as well 0 is at most 1, so even less, so that's fine as well. Uh, so now this function is 1 to 1. So again, we learn two lessons. First of all, how can you establish whether a function is 1 to 1 or not? You have to look at function f, x is y, and you have to uh, look for all y's in the codomain, how many solutions this equation has. If, uh, if you have y's for which this solution is more than one solution, then your function is not 1 to 1. And if f, x is y has only one solution for all um, y in the codomain, or zero solutions, then your function is 1 to 1. And second lesson, you can always make your function one-to-one -one because not being one-to-one -one is in fact a property of the domain being too large. So if you restrict your domain a bit, you can always make your functions one-to-one. -one. So now you know how to check whether a function is one-to-one -one, and you know, if it's not, how to make it one-to-one.